But I've just given you a whole lot of things that are getting you here going, gosh, you know, <laughs> this is probably feeling a little bit nervous and a little bit like, oh, is this going to be a bit of a gloomy talk and set the scene for the rest of the day? Well, actually, if you have a look at the economics, despite Trump, and in fact, despite every other uh, US president, and despite some of the um, idiocy that we see going on, some of the quite scary policies, the global economy has been quietly picking up through a range of monetary and fiscal policies, mainly monetary, in most of the developed world. And you can see from this chart, encouragingly, that um, the blue line manufacturing um, and world trade volumes have picked up quite substantially in recent, um, over the past year, recent months, um, and even industrial production is, 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 is picking up a little bit. That's a really good sign, really good news for Australia, particularly as we rely so much on our bulk commodity exports, and it's flown flown through, in fact, into um, better balance of payments results. Um, I don't know anybody else in this room was around when uh, Paul Keating called, uh, said Australia was about to become a banana republic, um, but I remember it very well. And uh, we're a long way from that now. Um, in fact, so far from it that nobody outside of economists and financial market people talk about the, the current account balance. It looks very, very healthy. So that's the world, I guess, except for China. Now, everybody worries about China. It's a big thing for Australia. We have far stronger relationship with China than any other country in the world. So our fortune is tied in with them. And it's not just bulk commodities. It's about services that we export. It's about our tourism. We have all sorts of links and are building those every day more strongly across both resources and services sector. So I don't know if you remember or paid much attention to some of the doomsayers that were around probably about 12, 18 months ago. China's going to fall in a hole. China's, you know, already in recession. What a lot of those people were looking at at the time were the indices of, of industrial production. What a lot of people have not realised is that now the services sector in China is actually slightly more than half of the economy. It's not just about manufacturing. It's also about services. It's also still a communist, centrally planned economy, and there is no way that the government of the day is going to allow the economy to be re reported, at least, as being in a recession. 